Hi everyone, welcome into the Freedom 4 with Sean Lerman. I am Mike Samso. We have the Trenton Freedom's radio broadcast team. Don't forget you can hear every Trenton Freedom home game on 1077 FM The Bronx. You can also hear it on 1077 thebronxcom or via their free smartphone app. Just go to the iTunes App Store or the Android Marketplace and search WRRC. Well, Sean, if you were here at the Sun National Bank Center last week or you tuned in to 1077 The Bronx, you heard quite a barn burner where the Trenton Freedom lost 70 to 60 to the Columbus Lions and in that game we saw a change at quarterback Steve Panasuk came in and took over we'll talk about that coming up in just a second but first Kevin O'Hanlon after the game voiced some displeasure about his defense said he wants to see better and uh, you know I'm not very surprised about those comments this is a Trenton Freedom team that at one point was up 14 gave up that lead and then was down by as many as 25 points in the game but a little bit of criticism from the coach isn't necessarily a bad thing after a big win week one and then probably a bit of a letdown in game number two, I think this is a team that will respond to that criticism from Coach O'Hanlon and really improve on the defensive side moving forward. We mentioned quarterback Steven Panasuk back with the Trenton Freedom after a stint, if you will, with the Richmond Raiders, re-signed week two and took over as the number one quarterback. And Steve played well when he came into the game. His first snap, he had a turnover, but after that turnover, ended up finishing out 10 of 14, took the team from down 25 to within striking distance. And the offense looked really good, really comfortable with him at quarterback. He, he's a talent to player. One of the things that he's very good at is throwing on the move, throwing off his back foot when there's pressure in his face. That's something that a lot of quarterbacks, once the pocket starts to close a little bit, they get a little skittish, a little scared. He's able to keep his eyes downfield and find those targets deep in the secondary, even when throwing off his back foot. Well, that was the action here at the Sun National Bank Center. Now let's take a look at things around the PIFL. Fisher Chiropractic Center is the official chiropractor of the Trenton Freedom. If you suffer from headaches, neck pain, lower back pain, joint pain, or sleeplessness, treat the source, not the symptom. Call Fisher Chiropractic Center at 609-585-9222. Dr. Paul Fisher, Dr. Jess Rosenberg, and Dr. Tom Ulrich have over 100 years combined chiropractic experience at 320 Whitehorse Avenue in Hamilton. Call the Fisher Chiropractic Center at 609-585-9222. 22. Welcome back to the Freedom 4 with Sean Lerman. I am Mike Samsel. This week, the Trenton Freedom welcome in the Erie Explosion. Sean, the Explosion, not your typical uh, expansion team, new to the PIFL, but not new to the indoor game. No, they're a strong team. They have a nice offense with Jeff Sinclair at quarterback. Had a 112 passer rating in week one, threw for 162 yards, 14 of 20 passing, so very efficient. Had four touchdowns, just one interception. His favorite target, Alfonso Hoggard, had eight catches for 130. 34 yards and two touchdowns in the game. Now the difference is on the defensive side of the ball, not quite as strong. Nobody on Erie had more than five tackles in their week one matchup. As a team, they forced just two sacks, they gave up six, and they did not have an interception, although they did break up five passes in the game. Well, that pressure certainly plays in favor of the Trenton Freedom. Tevin Ferguson and Jerome Hayes each had three sacks in week one, so it could be a bit of a step up for the defense for the Freedom this week, but we could also see a lot of points because you mentioned the defensive area not that strong. Now Steve Panasuk with a full week to prepare with the number ones. I think it'll be good to see Panasuk with that preparation with the number one unit and I think even more so just more preparation with the wide receivers and getting on the same page timing for routes that's the hardest thing when you're early in a season let alone when you've been practicing with a different team for the last few weeks now to come in and get that practice time with the first unit things will be looking pretty good for Steve Panasuk. We'll be right back after this you're watching the Freedom Four. With great food, music, and entertainment, the Mill Hill Saloon is a proud sponsor and meal provider of the Trenton Freedom. Located at nearby 300 South Broad Street in Trenton, the Mill Hill Saloon has been described as both the diva and the dive, perfect for any night out. And there's great news for the fans of their numerous craft beers. The Mill Hill Saloon now fills growlers. Starting at $12, it's a better way to get takeout. That's the Mill Hill Saloon, located conveniently at 300 South Broad Street in Trenton. Welcome back to the Freedom Four here with head coach of the Trenton Freedom, Kevin O'Hanlon. Coach, a big important part for the defense for the Trenton Freedom this week is the pass rush against an eerie explosion team that allowed six sacks in week one. What do you expect to see out of your defense up front? I expect the same pass rush we had week one. I mean, uh, I don't know if it was the, the bye week we had, the layoff, or really I, I'm, I'm just looking at it as everyone on the team decided to have the same game to be the worst game they could play all year. Uh, taking nothing away from Columbus, probably the best offensive line we'll face all year. 
But, uh, you know, the Loyola brothers know how to coach the game, and we're just going to pin our ears back and, and have at it. The PIFL, obviously a passing league, but Malik Brown has been extremely good in the run game. Talk about his contributions. Malik, he caught you. If you notice also, not only did he run the ball well, he had a sack for us again. Right. Another week, that's two weeks in a row he had a sack. Malik does pretty much everything for us. Uh, Malik and Jerome both came to me the day after we lost to uh, Lehigh last year and said, Coach, we weren't in the best shape, and Malik has made a conscious effort to make sure he's in the best shape, and you just look at him. He's he's in great shape. So right now, you know, he's hitting on all cylinders at the right time, and he's running the ball, and the yeah. offensive line's done a great job for him up front. Um, so right now, I mean, a healthy Malik with a healthy offensive line is a pretty dangerous run game. Here at practice, we see all the guys kind of patting each other on the back, cheering each other on. How's the team camaraderie at this point in the season? I think the team camaraderie is, is great. Uh, you know, we've been having a lot of talks about, you know, being great and getting to the next level as far as football players. And a lot of that is, is the attitude. And one thing a lot of the players are saying that there's just something special about the team. Um, we've made a lot of moves, but still everyone seems to be tight. There's no clicks, although there's clicks to say. You know, there's no click that separates from everybody. But what you definitely have is an offense that clicks together and a defense that clicks together. That You always seem to find them together. Uh, you won't find two or three guys off doing their own little thing. So I think that's great. There you go. Everything's clicking. Mike Sampson with quarterback Steve Panasuk next. The Muscle Maker Grill, great food with your health in mind, has two locations in the Delaware Valley area to serve you. 1411 East Lincoln Highway in Levittown and 2550 Grant Avenue in Philadelphia. The Muscle Maker Grill is a meal provider for the trend in freedom, and they can provide you with their great meals and meal plans starting at just $7 per meal. Pick up a Trent and Freedom media guide for a special offer. Muscle Maker Grill, great food with your health in mind. All right, here with quarterback Steve Panasuk on the Freedom Force. Steve, you got an opportunity to get some playing time uh, with the Trenton Freedom last week. Had to feel good to get out there, and once you settled into the game, ended up going 10 of 14. It felt like things really started to come together for you. Yeah, um, you know, the first two series were, were rough. I was really settling in, you know. Um, I always try to prepare like a starter, and um, once I got settled down, settled in there, you know, everything was clicking for me. Everything was working. Um, we had great protection. Um, I was barely touched. The receivers caught everything. I mean, if you guys remember spiders grab down here on the 15 yeah um you know they we all just make up for each other you know and nobody um nobody relaxes so right. so we're just ready to go and you know well there had to be a comfort factor there too because you got to work with these wide receivers last year especially spider landis williams guys like that so even though landis didn't play with spider and with antoine there had to be a comfort factor you stepped out there and it felt like home right right and as soon as i got back here um you know we clicked right away because last year we were ready Mm -hmm. We already had that connection. Um, so coming back, you know, we didn't skip a beat, especially with Antoine, Landis, and even Spider. Um, and even though Lemon, you know, threw a touchdown to LeVon, or right. threw, a, threw a completion to LeVon, and LeVon uh, was tight end last year, catching some touchdowns for us. So we got some similar faces back, and it's just great to be back with them, actually. Right. Well, you had the experience down in Richmond. Do you feel like that experience made you a little better? You know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely put a chip on my shoulder, I'll tell mm -hmm. you that. Um, you know, as soon as that happened, I was ready to go. Um, whoever called me first that, that was going to offer me a chance to play somewhere, uh, that's where I was going, and hopefully it was going to be somewhere that played Richmond. Yeah. Um, you know, not looking forward to anything, but, you know, um, chip on my shoulders there, and I'm just ready to prove myself in this league. All right, Steve, well, we'll see you Saturday night against the Erie Explosion. All right, thank you, sir. We'll be back right after this here on the Freedom Four. The dog days of summer are coming. Now is the time to make sure you're ready for the heat with Patriot Air Heating and Cooling. Traditional split systems, ductless mini split air conditioners, heat pumps, Patriot Air has solutions for your specific needs. Patriot Air is your number one choice for residential and commercial heating repair, service, sales, and installation. Gas, oil, boilers, furnaces, Patriot Air Heating and Cooling does it all. To make sure you're ready for any weather, give Patriot Air a call at 609-398-5109. That's 609-398-5109 for Patriot Air Heating and Cooling. Welcome back to the Freedom Four. These are the final words before we get ready for the game against the Erie Explosion. And Sean Lerman, we heard from Steve Panasuk, we heard from Coach Kevin O'Hanlon. They are certainly ready to go and get back to their winning ways. And this is a good opportunity to do so. Playing the Erie Explosion should be a winnable game and a good opportunity for the Trenton Freedom to get to 2-1 on the season. The Trenton Freedom are fired up. Don't forget, if you can't make it out on Saturday night at 7 p.m., you can listen to the game on 107.7 The Bronx and 107.7 TheBronx.com starting at 6.45 with the Pitt Financial pregame show, 7 o'clock is the kickoff. But make sure you get on out here to the Sun National Bank Center and join the ninth man. For schedule and ticket information, you can go to our website, trentonfreedom.com, or give a call over to our offices, 800-500-1776. For Sean Lemon, I'm Mike Samsel. We'll see you next time here on the Freedom Four.